Hi. This is an album review of a band called Harvest Rain, and the album is called Night Chorus. It was released in 2005. But first things first, this is a book that I've been reading, and I highly recommend it for those of you who have a uh, political science proclivity, anybody who's into geopolitics, or just basically history in general. This is a book called Suicide of a Superpower by Patrick Buchanan. And the subtitle is, Will America Survive to 2025? I love this book. I would highly recommend it. So anyway, that being said, um, first off, I want to talk a little bit about panda bears. And panda bears are, as we know, the white and the black and all that, eating bamboo shoes, and they're so cute and everything. But there's other pandas. They're red, red pandas, but they don't get any, any press or anything like that. They're kind of ostracized. But anyway, I would like to take the, uh, the panda bears, and since they don't like to reproduce, I would like to just wipe them off the face of the planet because I feel like China really has America by the balls when it comes to pandas. They let us kind of like rent out a panda for $200 million per year or whatever it is. You know, I mean, these pandas, they're cute, but I, I say kill them all. Cute, put the cute back in, electrocute, electrocute them all. Anyway, okay, so getting back to Harvest Rain, Night Chorus, released in 2005. The first thing that jumps out at me about this band is that they kind of roam around nomadically uh, the musical styles that I like. Uh, post-punk, neo-folk, uh, industrial, a uh, little bit of dreamy stuff in there with the guitar textures, um, dark ambient, dark romanticism, dark wave, dark folk, blah blah blah. Anyway, the, the band has a, is a, has a very interesting sound. They, they have kind of a drum machine beat in there, which I think would, would appeal to the palate of anybody who's into kind of like witch house music of the last couple years. This beat sounds very modern. It's kind of the echoey sound that you hear with uh, a lot of post-punk bands, I would say with the Cocktoo Twins, early Cocktoo Twins, maybe from uh, their EPs and stuff like Echoes in the Shallow Bay, blah, blah, blah. Um, the, the synths definitely harken back to the 80s, so it has that vintage feel to it. There's a couple songs on here that I really like a lot, like um, strange lights appear listening and another song called reaching uh, it's a quality album some of the songs on there are kind of death in june inspired um and there are worse things than that uh the final track which is untitled kind of taps into that uh but the but uh harvest rain um changes it up a lot they, they they really have a unique sound and I think the strength is in their variety they're able to drift from post-punk to kind of a dreamscape or a dream wave to uh, almost stuff bordering on gothic but not really crossing the line into like Bauhaus or specimen territory um, it's definitely a quality band and I think with any neo-folk album, it's very seasonal type of music. This is music that appeals to people whose favorite season is autumn, when the leaves are changing and falling and, the, and the, you know, it's very dark and the sky is getting very cloudy. This is perfect music for walking around in that kind of atmosphere. And, and, and that's what I find this album when I'm walking to work and the, and the leaves are changing here up here in Oregon in the Pacific Northwest. It's perfect music for that kind of atmosphere. Um, it's definitely a, a seasonal album. I, I would give this album a real solid uh, 4.5, possibly a 5 out of 5. I really enjoyed the album. There are a couple of slow points, but I can overlook those instrumentals. All in all, it's a very solid album, and I highly recommend it. Thank you for watching.